Hello viewers, hope you all are doing great. Having been done with our food chemistry module in detail, now I am beginning with our next module that is food microbiology in which we are going to study the interaction between microbes and our food components. So first of all, let's understand how our food acts as a substrate for microorganisms. As represented here, in most cases, microorganisms utilize our food supply as a source of nutrients for their growth. And what happens? As a result of uptake of nutrients from our food, microorganisms multiply in number, thereby resulting in some enzymatic changes and biochemical changes in our food product, leading to breakdown of certain products or synthesis of new compounds which leads to off flavor development resulting in food spoilage. So that's a normal consequence of action of microbes in our food. As represented here, one thing to be noted down is when these microorganisms are pathogenic. Now what do we mean by pathogenic? Pathogens are disease causing microorganisms. Their association with our food supply is very important from public health point of view because as shown here, it results in food borne illnesses with a number of symptoms for example stomach ache, vomiting, diarrhea etc. But interactions between microbes and our food is sometimes beneficial also. How come? For example, in cultured products as represented here, we have curd, we have sauerkraut and other fermented products in which microbes play a beneficial role. Now the question arises, is the type of microflora grown in our food products same for all kinds of food? The answer is no. Then the next question is, if no, what are the governing factors? As mentioned here, we have two major governing factors that number one, compositional factors of food. Secondly, environmental factors. Now, what do we understand by compositional factors? As represented here, we have H plus ion concentration. Now, what is H plus ion? It relates to pH of the food. As we all are aware, some microbes grow well under acidic conditions while some grow well under alkaline conditions also or uh, we have moisture content which plays a crucial role in general we say that the food with higher moisture content allow uh, growth of a range of microorganisms. In addition to this we have oxidation reduction potential, we have uh, inhibitory substances, sometimes what happens we have some kind of inhibitory substances present in our food products which do not allow the microbial growth what kind of nutrients are present in our food, what's the need of microbes. So all these factors affect type of microflora in your food products. That's all about how your food can act as a substrate for microbes. Stay tuned with Food Cyto for more such concepts and learning in a simplified manner. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.